Hello. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can because I literally have so much. I think this might be the biggest collection update I've done yet. So, without further ado, we are going to start, as always, not only with the Blu-rays, but the new releases that I have watched or rewatched during the last month or so. Scare Me, this is a Shudder original. This was really, really good. Uh, more of a horror comedy than it is a horror movie. Um, and I wish it kept that tone throughout uh, for the last 10 minutes. And it, it kind of doesn't. It kind of goes a little weird. But this is a really, really good movie. I would highly recommend this. Shudder originals are, are pretty, pretty good. So <clears throat> I can't really go too wrong with them. Vanguard. This I actually saw in theaters. I was one of the few people that saw this in theaters. Uh, this comes with apparently two versions of it. The original version is an hour and 47 minutes, and then the dubbed version is an hour and 44 minutes. I don't necessarily know why. I did not watch the dubbed version. I watched the original version, but this is a fun movie. Um, one that I would recommend, especially if you're a Chan enthusiast. Crazy Samurai 400 versus 1. This wasn't too bad. It is uh, the the movie that's like the 77-minute one-take action film sequence. It is kind of very low budget, but I mean, hey, it was done in one take for over an hour, so it's pretty good. The remake to Castle Freak. I did watch the original before I watched this. I, I liked the original. Um, wasn't a huge fan of it, but I could appreciate it for its, its tones and its acting, and especially some of its special effects. This was terrible. This was absolute garbage. I would not recommend this. Uh, I gave it one star, and that was being generous. This is a really bad movie. I would not recommend this. Uh, just very ugly. Dark Web, Cicada 3301. This is uh, a weird title, but uh, it wasn't too bad. It was a nice little thriller. Um, yeah. Don't have too much more to say on that. No grindstone title, and they usually do pretty okay. Don't tell a soul. First of all, if you have this or if you're thinking about buying this, um, note that the runtime on the back is misprinted. It's not an hour and 36 minutes. It's an hour and 23. Uh, that being said, this is a really decent movie about these two kids that rob some money off of uh, this this like house that's being fumigated. And when a security guard catches them... Uh, he chases them through the woods, and he falls down this uh, well, and he's kind of trapped in there, and they have to figure out whether or not they want to bring him out or not. Pretty decent. Half Brothers. This was a movie that I missed in uh, theaters, mainly because I didn't feel like going. <laughs> uh, this actually wasn't too bad. I thought it was pretty decent, um, and something I might watch again down the road. This one everybody was talking about. This is PG Psycho Goreman with reversible cover art. Uh, this is a wild, wild movie. Uh, really very silly, very over the top. It marries hardcore, gore-heavy horror movie with uh, like an 80s kid flick. And I think it's really, really good. It says over two hours of features. There's just a little over an hour, but still, that's pretty good. This does come with some stuff. Uh, officially licensed merchandise. Uh, we have some action figures for Psycho Gorman, uh, Greg, Star Striker 77, um, and Pandora Battle Mode. And it says right here, for those two that are like that, it says, due to the secretive nature uh, of these characters in PG Psycho Gorman, we are unable to visually display the toy counterpart until a later date. Uh, by the way, you can visit them at PlasticMeatball.com. Uh, we also have an abandoned shoe factory adventure playlist. <laughs> oh, Lord. All collector's glasses. These look pretty sweet. Some shirts. They really are going... I don't know if these are real or not. A crazy ball, so some dodgeballs. Uh, the Frigoff board game. Uh, puzzle. 
a bot bag, so like a weevil's wobble, but they don't fall down. Pajama set, toothbrush, some beach sets, party, <laughs> party hats. Uh, and then you get some games. Like a word search. Uh, a maze. Uh, solve the maze to find the Hunky Boy magazines. Good lord. And your very own sword. Like I said, I, I, I don't know. But, it does give you uh, an ad for Shudder. Where you can watch things like the uh, show Creep Show, Three from Hell, and Color Out of Space. Anyway, I've spent too much time on Psycho Gorman. And everybody who's seen this movie talks about the theme song at the end of the movie. Yes, it's fantastic. Promising Young Woman. I've said this a couple times. This was my favorite movie of 2020. I picked it as the best movie of that year. I was nominated for Best Picture. Uh, didn't win. And won Best Original Screenplay, though, which I was happy it won something. Uh, Nomadland won, which, honestly, I would have rather anything except Nomadland win. I... I to, to win Best Picture. I liked Nomadland a lot, but they were just falling over themselves with that one. So it, it could have been this. It could have been uh, Chicago 7. Um, it could have been any of them. Russian Raid. I liked this one decent enough. Um, some people said that this was Russia's version of the, the Raid movies uh, that they did a few years ago. I didn't necessarily see it as that, since this is a, a lot more, like, minimalist than those two movies, but it was decent. Songbird. This is a movie that I actually uh, had an advanced screening for, sort of. It was like a virtual screening and everything. And it's not a bad movie. It's very short. However, the deleted scenes are, there's 45 minutes of it, so they literally cut about 40% of the movie out. So that's why it feels so short. Uh, the story of Songbird's also pretty lengthy as a feature on here. But I, I stand by it. I still think this is a decent movie. Not too bad. Soul, great Disney Pixar movie. Absolutely loved it. A lot of people called it like Inside Out Light. And I can kind of see that. There's Inside Out right behind me. <laughs> the Kid Detective. Bit disappointed on this one. Thought it would be a lot funnier. But it is actually a really good movie. About this, uh, take like Encyclopedia Brown and Nancy Drew and just imagine them older. Um, this is a guy who's like, he's, he's, he's like this just down and out kid detective and he, he doesn't know what else to do so he just kind of sticks with what he's doing. And he ends up getting hired to solve like this murder case. Um, there's one of the funniest jokes in here because it happens early on so I'm not spoiling it. Um, it shows, like, at the beginning, like, there's a flashback to where, like, he was younger and he solved a case for an ice cream shop and they awarded him with free ice cream for life. They didn't expect him to, like, carry it on, though, and, and, and as an adult. So they show him, like, a few minutes later going into the same ice cream shop and he just gets handed an ice cream cone and the owner's, like, very dejected. That's pretty good. I like that one a lot. Uh, the Toll fantastic horror movie i recommend this highly this was really really good um very good movie from saban films highly highly recommended it. it's a movie that plays a very big mind game um the i mean it's not perfect the ending got a little bit over the top but still i really did enjoy that one and the last of the new releases is a movie that everybody seems to hate uh but i love a lot and that is Wonder Woman 1984. I saw this in theaters, and then I obviously I watched it again on Blu-ray. Um, a lot of people had problems with this. A lot of a lot of people uh, said that this is one of the uh, side effects of quote unquote uh, woke cinema, which I do agree is getting a little bit out of hand. Um, but I didn't see that necessarily with this. Uh, I, I loved this movie, and I had a lot of fun with it. So those are the new releases, but now on to the rest of the Blu-rays. We have the original Diary of a Wimpy Kid trilogy. We have Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, and Dog Days. Now, I was a huge fan of the books growing up. When I initially saw this, I didn't like it. And then I saw this, and I really liked it. Went back to this, ended up really liking it, and of course really liked this. We will not talk about the fourth movie. The fourth movie is dreadful. But I recently got back into these because we have Disney Plus at work. Uh, so we throw on some movies for the kids, uh, for the older ones during nap time. And uh, 
they've been for some reason Disney Plus does not have this, um, but they have the 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 long haul. So they've been watching these two a lot, and uh, the long haul. Wow, is is awful. This is a pretty cool slip cover though, because uh, it comes with like a a few pages. Uh, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, which I apparently got turned into its own series. So that's pretty cool. We might see this again, but I did buy a, another copy of Roderick Rules before I bought it for like two bucks, because uh, I, I think the features on that one are not on there. Uh, some Dollar Tree titles. We have The Reader. Frenzy. Bought the DVD from Dollar Tree like a year ago, so upgrading. Chi Thrills, which also has some reversible artwork. Nice. Neverland. I bought this on DVD at Dollar Tree, and then 10 minutes later I went to another one. They had Blu-rays of it, so there you go. Opens up. Does that. I don't know why, but it does it. <laughs> Tell. Also bought this at Dollar Tree a year ago. Now I'm upgrading to Blu-ray. This I've been looking for. They got in a couple uh, Asylum titles, but this is an Asylum title I've been looking for, and that is Mercenaries, the female version of The Expendables. With Brigitte Nielsen, Vivica A. Fox, Zoe Bell, Kristana Loken, and Cynthia Rothrock. Who else is in this? Oh, it's just... Oh, Nicole Bilderbeck. Hmm. Not familiar with her. Um, but yeah. A fun fact about Asylum movies, if you look at the top where it says, like... You will find this very, out very quickly. There's no critic quotes, but they put it in quotes just to make it official. But it will say, like, a, uh, a great genre movie of whatever genre it is, in the style of or in the tradition of, and then it gives two movies. For example, a female action extravaganza in the tradition of Mission Impossible and The Expendables. Tin Man. This is a miniseries uh, with Zoe Deschanel, Alan Cumming, Neil McDonough, and Richard Dreyfuss. It's a whole bunch of... I like Wizard of Oz-related stuff. Of course, nothing will ever compare to the classic, but... American Dresser with uh, Tom Berenger looks stupid, but I figured for a dollar, why not? For a dollar, this didn't look stupid, but I've wanted it for a while, and that is City Slickers. Igor, which I've heard very, very mixed things about. Some more Dollar Tree titles. Another Asylum one with Hansel and Gretel. Uh, a wickedly brutal classic in the vein of Hostel and House of a Thousand Corpses. See? Start looking for those. Devil's Knot, I've seen this. It's not bad, um, but it's also not great either. But it's been a while since I've seen that. And I believe the last of the Dollar Trees is Looking for Lenin. This is a documentary. And then here's that other copy of Roderick Rules I told you about, which is like bare bones. We have the Ang Bak Trilogy in a sleek looking box set. Look at this. Comes with all three of them. Ang Bak the Thai Warrior, Ang Bak 2 the beginning, and Ang Bak 3 the final battle. Alrighty, then we have Les Miserables, which I already own, but I bought because it comes with a bonus disc, so more features. Collateral, upgrading from DVD to Blu-ray, this is a fantastic movie, I would highly recommend that. ATL, never seen that one, so should be good. Hellboy, the director's cut, uh, I have not seen this or uh, The Golden Army, so those should be good. Uh, Laura, found this at uh, Savers. It's a, like a cinema classic, so why not? Why not? Double feature of Man on Fire and Out of Time. Man on Fire is great. I have not seen Out of Time. War Room, terrible movie, but found it for super cheap because I like, like making fun of terrible movies. This I bought on DVD not too long ago, and now I'm already upgrading it, and that is Rude. This was brand new factory sealed. I took it out of its uh, shrink wrap. Some more Nick Cage here with USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage. With Tom Sizemore and Thomas Jane. This was directed by Peebles, wasn't it? Yeah, Mario Van Peebles. A Christmas Carol, the Jim Carrey one. A movie I've never seen, but I'm pretty sure I know the story. <laughs> the Last Song. I don't know. I'm interested to see how this one plays out. I've heard not so good things about it. Barbershop, The Next Cut. Found that at a Dollar Tree. Also at a Dollar Tree found Raging Phoenix, which is an upgrade from my DVD copy that I bought a year ago. And finally, 
the guard of Auschwitz. So that's it for the Blu-rays. Before we get into the DVDs, because there are a lot of them, let's take a look at some of the miscellaneous stuff. Only bought one game, and I did play through it, and it's not too bad, but it could be better, and that is Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. This was before the 2011 Mortal Kombat when uh, Midway went bankrupt. Um, so this wasn't too bad, but it, it, like I said, it, it could have been a lot better. Uh, let's see, let's do some soundtracks. Yes, I bought some soundtracks recently. Those are books, I know you see them. <laughs> Alright, reaching behind you guys. Here we go, some soundtracks. We have the soundtrack to Collateral. Uh, I have not listened to any of this um, <clears throat> as of yet. I have Apple Music, and for some reason when I put CDs on through iTunes and I want to sync them to my phone, it doesn't coordinate, and I'm not able to do so. So, that's I mean, that's just weird. I don't know what's going on. Soundtrack to 13, one of my all-time favorite movies. This has uh, stuff like Kinky, Iffy, Clinic, Carmen Rizzo, Folk Implosion, Imperial Teen, a bunch of stuff. The soundtrack to The Jackal, uh, Fatboy Slim, Prodigy. Uh, is Moby on here? Yeah, he is. What a surprise. I don't like Moby. Soundtrack to Idle Hands. You got The Living End, Blink-182, The Offspring, The Waking Hours, Rob Zombie, Zebrahead, Static X, Disappointment Inc., Unwritten Law, The Vandals, Lion Rock, Motley Crue, and Graham Revell's uh, theme for the film. Soundtrack to American Psycho. This is actually the out-of-print soundtrack, um, and I found that out very quickly. You can tell if you have an out-of-print copy of this soundtrack because it comes with Hip to be a Square by Huey Lewis and the News. They reissued it without the song on it uh, later because they did, it was like a rights issue, which I never understood because they played it in the movie, so wouldn't it make sense to have it on the soundtrack? I don't know. Get Rich or Die Try in the soundtrack. Decent movie, decent soundtrack. And the soundtrack to Juice. Great movie. Soundtrack's pretty good. Some books. Some books, because I know you saw the books. 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 I know you saw the books. Okay. We have A Stranger in the Family, a true story of murder, madness, and unconventional, uh, unconditional love by Stephen Nefay and Gregory White Smith. Another true crime book here with Killer Nurse by John Fox John. Hmm. The harrowing true story of one woman's murder spree in an East Texas town. Murder in Mayberry, Greed, Death, and Mayhem in a Small Town by Mark Kenny Branson and Jack Branson. Family Blood, The Murder That Shattered an All-American Home by Lynn Riddle. Shattered, uh, The True Story of a Mother's Love, a Husband's Betrayal, and a Cold-Blooded Texas Murder by Catherine Casey. And, uh, yeah, this is the last of the true crimes, I believe. A Slaying in the Suburbs, The Tara Grant Murder by Steve Miller and Andrea Billups. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a horror novel by Richard Lehman called The Traveling Vampire Show. Eleven Great Horror Stories. This is a horror story compilation. This comes with uh, the, the Oblong Box and the Dunwich Horror. Uh, plus The Love Letter, W.S., The Ape and the Mystery, The Judge's House, Thus I Refute Beelzee, Beelze, Return of the Griffins, Flies, The Shed, and The Mistake. Deeper by James A. Moore. There's no way out. There's only down. James Bond in Scorpius by John Gardner. Uh, Steve, uh, Beasts by Stephen R. George. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like cool stuff like that. Do you like cool stuff like that? I hope you do. Uh, Gabriel's Body by Kurt Siadnik. The Deathless by Miles Murchison, which has some pretty cool art, but I'm saving the best horror novel for last because of how fantastic the artwork is, and that is Ghoul by Michael, S Michael Slade. Look at how awesome that cover art is. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's not it for the books, though. We have The Classic Roots by Alex Haley. Put that there. 
Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Spoiler alert, you will see the movie here in a minute. Night Walking by Kathleen Snow. This is Indecent Exposure, A True Story of Hollywood and Wall Street by David McClintock. Don't Stand Too Close to a Naked Man by Tim Allen. Uh, I like Tim Allen a lot. And finally, and I do mean finally for the books, Whirlwind by James Clavel, Volume 1. There's a lot of VHS, so let's get to the VHS. Yes, I'm impressed to say there's a lot. <laughs> Was on a rhyme scheme. So we have a bunch of screener tapes. Somebody traded in stuff from a video store. We have a screener tape for Leprechaun in the Hood. That's an all right movie. <laughs> uh, brand new factory sealed for Undisputed. This is a double feature tape from, uh, like, Prism. Uh, they, you'll see a couple of them in here. But we have The Unnameable 2 and Final Shot, The Hank Gathers Story. Running Red. A screener copy of The Recruit. A screener copy of Four Rooms. Bicentennial Man. A screener copy of The Royal Tannenbaums. A screener copy of Priest, which this bugs me because all the screener copies have the title on the top and that doesn't, so... Thank you. Screener copy for Unbreakable. A screener copy for Nixon, the first ever screener that, uh, that I've seen where it is a two-tape movie because it is very, very long. And I believe that's it for the screeners, except for the prism stuff that I'll show you in a little bit. Random Hearts. The Others. Blue Velvet. Hey. <laughs> Some more. Oh, hey, are you there? Sorry. Double feature here of L.A. Goddess and Still Life, The Fine Art of Murder. Another one, uh, Baby on Board. And what is this? Strangers. Ooh, put the kids to bed on that one. <laughs> Homegrown. Boy Meets Girl. The Adventures of Mary-Kate Nashley, The Case of the United States Navy Adventurer. Yeah. Fantastic. Tough Guys. This I've been wanting on tape for a while. Stephen King's It. The original. Uh, 18 again. Fast Break. Stephen King's Silver Bullet. A Dangerous Man. Single White Female. And then we have a couple clamshells. Some Mary Kate and Ashley with Holiday in the Sun, filmed at the Bahamas. Their favorite parties. Oh my god, we have a fashion party, costume party, and a camp out party. Oh, those are parties I would go to. <laughs> and a uh, billboard dad, so some cheesy, stupid stuff. But whatever. Finding dad a date becomes an adventure gone wild. Sure it is. Last but not least, there are three huge towers of DVDs in front of me. We are going to get through them as quickly as possible. So, Dead Ant, which reminds me of ABGN. Dead Ant, Dead Ant. The remake of The Fog. Curse of the Mayans. A five-movie set where Empty Rooms is the selling point, but it also comes with Wes Craven Presents Don't Look Down. 19 Doors, Dark Spirits, and Evidence of a Haunting. The Visitation, which is a religious horror movie. Fantastic. Another Asylum one, 12, 12, 12. A terrifying supernatural thriller in the tradition of The Omen and Rosemary's Baby. Anna and the Apocalypse, this was a Dollar Tree find. I was super happy to find that because that's a movie I've been wanting to see forever. 
Selfie Man. Her, I've heard awful things about it, but I'm glad I have it. That's why I bought it. Night of Horror. Do not watch alone. There's a 15 movie set that comes with Night of the Blood Beast, Night Fright, She Beast, Last Woman on Earth, Horror Express, Die Sister Die, Good Against Evil, Invasion of the Bee Girls, Cat on Nine Tales, Memorial Valley Massacre, Messiah of Evil, Snake People, The Terror, They Came from Beyond Space, and The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. Clove Hitch Killer. Voodoo Possession with Danny Trejo. Dante 01. The Russian Bride. Oh, so much, so much stuff. Truth or Dare. Hope this is better than the Bloomhouse one. The Covenant. Let the Right One In. Haven't seen this, but I saw the remake. The Eye. Alien Domicile. The Orphanage. This is a movie I've been wanting to see for a good long while. Nazi Overlord. Uh, oh, they don't have it. It just says a heart-pounding World War II thriller with a twist. I Was Wrong, Asylum. Imposter, the director's cut. Frailty, a movie I just keep hearing great things about. Birdemic 2, The Resurrection, a very good friend of mine uh, and I watched the first one together and we loved to hate it so much that they were very excited when I told them that there was a second one and this was pretty bad. <laughs> the original Fright Night, which I'm ashamed to say I've never seen. Method, Blackwood, Ghost Hunter, Clay, The Raven, the uh, remake of April Fool's Day, which I'm sure is going to be terrible. Him. Facing the Giants, the special collector's edition, another religious type flick. Noble Son. Uh, these I got to make fun of. This is Kirk Cameron's Revive Us 1 and 2. Because how can you take Kirk Cameron seriously? All right, these I, I don't want to topple over, so I'm going to do my best. I'm doing my best here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so uncoordinated. The Big Chill. Uh, don't Come Knocking. The Heart of the Game. Love and Basketball. Masked and Anonymous with Bob Dylan. Eee! Courageous, which also comes with a bonus disc, Building a Courageous Home. <laughs> the Escapist. I'll save that for a minute. Born to Kill. I'm sure you already saw it. <laughs> Hollow, another Pure Flix one. Jesus Camp. This is a documentary I've really wanted to see, so I'm highly looking forward to that one. Waltz with Bashir. Left Behind. Left Behind 2, Tribulation Force. And Left Behind, World at War. Memoirs of a Geisha. I told you guys you would see that. Fireproof with the wacky Kirk Cameron. K Pax. Eight action films. This comes with Knockout. Valley of Angels, Blood Rain the Third Reich, Lords of the Street, Garrison, American Breakdown, After the Dark, and Extracted. Control Factor, A Deadly Obsession, The Divine Move, A Violent Man. Some of these titles are just very on the nose. <laughs> okay. Some more Pure Flix crap, I'm assuming. This is our time. Doe. Soul Power. Eight family movies. God Save Our Farm. Little Red Wagon. The Duke. The Secret of Loch Ness. Lucky Dog. Hannah's Gold. Horrid Henry the Movie. And Smitty. Altered Minds. Move that a little bit forward. Uh, I really dug myself into a corner here. <laughs> Love Kennedy. Sweet Virginia. Miles Ahead. I've actually seen this. This is, this is a pretty good movie. Titanic, the BBC miniseries. Mansfield Park. Grave of the Fireflies. I'm not a huge anime fan. I actually really don't like anime, but this is one of two anime movies that I would say are masterpieces. The other one being Perfect Blue. There's a random eight movie set that comes with Captain, excuse me, Captive Heart, the James Mink story. Endgame, Blood Brothers, Jewel, One Heart Broken into Song, The Execution of Raymond Graham, a Gathering of Old Men, and Go Tell It on the Mountain. 
J.R.R. Tolkien, Master of the Rings. This is back when everyone was going nuts over Lord of the Rings. There we go. I think I got something here. Breaking and Entering. Breaking a Monster. Bling. All about blood diamonds. Deadly Affairs, 10 movie set. This comes with Winter of Frozen Dreams, Circle of Deceit. They shoot divas, don't they? An Unfinished Affair, Face of Evil, Primal Secrets, Home for the Holidays, Memory, When Justice Fails, and Mesmerized. I Will Fight No More Forever, which comes with a whole bunch of other stuff. Two episodes of Stories of the Century, Geronimo and the Apache Kid. The Great Indian Wars, Sunset Carson Rides Again, The Proud and Damned, Cry Blood Apache, Sitting Bull, The Gunfighters, Yuma, and The Wackiest Wagon Train in the West. But I'm a cheerleader. I'm assuming this is the original theatrical version because the director's cut is getting a Blu-ray release in two and a half weeks. Mr. Saturday Night. Short Bus. The Waterboy was never really a huge fan of this one, but we'll see if it holds up. Emma with Gwyneth Paltrow. I've seen the uh, Anya Taylor-Joy one. Another Sandler one I've never seen, actually. Spanglish. It's the residue from the security sticker some of these have had. Swing Time. A Dog's Life Collection. This comes with four movies. Cool Dog, Finding Rin Tin Tin, Surviving the Wild, and Angel Dog. This was at Dollar Tree. This was pretty awesome. This is a Turner Classic Movies Greatest Classic Legends Mickey, Rooney, and Judy Garland set. This is basically like the old people version of four film favorites that Warner Brothers does. This comes with Babes in Arms, Babes on Broadway, Strike Up the Band, and Girl Crazy. Awesome, although I looked at a clip of some of these movies and a couple of them feature blackface, which isn't really good. <laughs> Closing escrow. Chili Dogs. This also comes with Rescue from Gilligan's Island, Smother, Mooch Goes to Hollywood, and kind of the big reason why I got this was Dream a Little Dream 2. Wonderland, an officer and a gentleman. This is, like I said, I have so much. Uh, excess Baggage. That's replacing a VHS copy. Trivial. American Graffiti, Excalibur, Single Way Female, so I replaced my VHS copy, and along with it I also got Single Way Female 2, The Psycho, Lost in Translation, Behind the Red Door, Coal Miner's Daughter, The Other Side of Heaven, I've seen this, this isn't too bad, Little Women from 94, Sabrina, The Diary of a Teenage Girl in a Relationship. Jenny's Wedding. I've heard this is terrible. Cop and a Half, two movies set. These are cheesy, but they're fun. Uh, Cop and a Half and Cop and a Half, New Recruit. Spy Cat. Looks awful. Video Brinkato. Those familiar with terrible animated movies will know who that is. Uh, presents Beauty and the Beast and other princess tales, including Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella, Pocahontas, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, The Frog Prince, and The Little Princess. Oh, I'm sure those are the legit ones. Research, the musical. When I bought this, I said, I do not know why this is on two discs. I found out. The second disc is for, uh, because a lot of special, fe there, there's a special feature on the first disc, and there's a special feature on the second disc, and it's like a 10-minute feature, and I'm like, you couldn't fit that on the, sec on the first disc? What's going on here? Uh, the Sandlot 2 and The Sandlot Heading Home, the two sequels that I never saw to The Sandlot. All of Mr. Bean. We got Mr. Bean the whole Bean, Bean the movie, and Mr. Bean's Holiday. How can you not love Mr. Bean? Just so classic. Dead Poet Society. Cold Mountain, Meet Joe Black, Lost and Delirious, uh, Better Than Chocolate, a little bit of nudity there, sorry, I forgot to cover that up, <laughs> Double Feature of Sense and Sensibility and the Remains of the Day, Hotel Rwanda, The Illusionist, I'll watch anything with Edward Norton, he's my favorite. Mr. Holland's Opus that replaces a VHS copy. Becoming Jane. Mm. 
<laughs> Treasure Island. Seattle uh, Superstorm. Black Lightning. The Time Machine. This is with Guy Pierce, yes. End of Fall. Lost in the Pacific. Hostile Border. Dirty Lies. Uh, Battle for Inchon, Operation Chromite. The Forbidden Kingdom, The Fifth Commandment. The Defender, Java Heat. Turbo Kid, yes, Turbo Kid on DVD. New Jersey Drive. Triple X, State of the Union, horrible, horrible movie, but I got it so I can have all of the Ice Cube movies together. Double Cross on Costa's Island. Wild Target, which I've seen. It's pretty good. Uh, 20 movies uh, on this set called Under Enemy Fire. They are War Devils, Straight Into Darkness, Identity Unknown, The Navy Way, Gung Ho, They Raid by Night, Spitfire, The Last Chance, Go For Broke, Flying Blind, Casablanca Express, Desert Commandos, Minesweeper, One of Our Aircraft is Missing, Under Heavy Fire, British Intelligence, The Adventures of Tartu, Battle of Blood Island, Hell in Normandy, and The Big Lift. The Last Castle, the sequel to The Hunt for Eagle One, and that is The Hunt for Eagle One Crash Point. Absalon. We are almost done, guys, I promise. There's two little small files left. We're going to start putting them on the futon here. From Dollar Tree, Black Dynamite Season 1. I love the first, uh, I love the movie. Monty Pythons, and now for something completely different. Kissing Jessica Stein. The Replacements. Necessary Roughness. The Baby Looney Tunes is Extraordinary Adventure. I love Baby Looney Tunes. I love Looney Tunes, period. View from the top, which I'm told is terrible. Uh, the Princess Collection. This comes with Cinderella, Snow White, The Little Princess, Pocahontas, and The Little Mermaid from Mill Creek. The Deal. Evolution. Running with Scissors. Crowning Jewels. Night Shift. Fired Up, The Unrated Cut. The Country Bears. George Lopez. Why are you crying? A Prairie Home Companion. All right, and the last little pile before I get up out of here. Confessions of a Thug. Eight movies for the Man Cave. We have Amazon, Superdome, uh, Amazon's Superdome, Nightmare in Badham County, Wild Women, Pray for the Wildcats, Running Delilah, which replaces my VHS copy, Africa, and Long Island Lolita, the Amy Fisher story. Backyard, Future Sport, uh, Tureg, The Desert Warrior, The Long Kiss Goodnight, which replaces a VHS copy. One of them. Yeah, one, I, one of them was rattling around in there when I was doing the thing. Hero Wanted, The Animatrix, The Hunted, Primal Instinct, The Net 2.0, D-Day Survivor. Allies, Urban Menace, which I'm told is terrible. Apparently there's a feature on the DVD where you can just skip to the end credits. But you can do that on any DVD. Thicker Than Water, uh, Avengement, great Scott Atkins movie. Beyond the Call of Duty, and finally, RPG, real playing game. Goodbye. <laughs>